Yeah, hi there, Darwin. This is Michael. I'm the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the seven step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. And guess what? Uh, you just became one of my students yesterday. So, first of all, thank you for joining my online course. I think you'll find that I have everything that you need to reach your TOEFL goals. Now, the question is how hard are you willing to work? Right? because I can help you but just remember that I'm gonna make some suggestions right now to help you reach your goals but you have to be willing to practice on a day-to-day -day basis right this is very serious business you want to go to Purdue University you want to get a graduate degree there that requires a very high level of reading of writing of speaking of listening you have to have very good vocabulary even your pronunciation needs to be strong because you will be giving presentations and things in your class a lot of graduate classes have seminar style type classes which do require you to speak a lot so all of my suggestions are to help you in two main ways number one my suggestions are to help you so you'll be a better graduate student you will be able to complete your speaking and your writing assignments without difficulty you'll have a faster reading speed which is very important which is going to help you get through the mountains of papers of uh, readings and articles and books that you will need to read to complete your study so I have a lot of information and a lot of things to help you succeed now you only need one point so you say in the email that you sent me uh, I need your help. I'm suffering a lot with TOEFL. I feel frustrated. Now I'm a graduate student at Purdue University. Uh, I got one point below the minimal requirement. And then you say the graduate school has given you some time to improve your score, right? So the bottom line is you need to have a satisfactory score by the end of spring, which is the beginning of May, right? The spring semester. Okay, so if you don't, reach that goal well you got trouble right well I'm gonna help you reach that goal here's what you want to do now you want to get a score of 77 right and you're, you're scoring approximately around 75 to 76 right now so you need to get one point higher than what you are so you need to meet the minimum of 19 on the speak on the reading 13 on the listening 18 on the speaking and 18 on the writing which is actually not that high especially given the fact that you want to be a graduate student so I recommend that you work in my my TOEFL course for two months maybe three but I think two months is probably good enough and for the first month here's my recommendation because your English is a little bit low right now based on your current TOEFL scores I think you need to focus in the three sections of my course specifically vocabulary pronunciation and grammar these three things I recommend that you focus on for the first month now if you want to begin completing speaking and writing practice tests this month that's okay you can start doing one or two uh, or maybe two or three writing practice tests beginning this week you can start doing those for the next 60 days that's also going to be very good for you and the same with the speaking but anyway, the first month primarily, primarily, which means mostly focus in the vocabulary, pronunciation, and the grammar parts of my course. This is going to be very, very useful for you. Right now, then, for the second month, then you can focus more in the listening, reading, speaking, and writing sections of my course. Now, remember, Darwin, the reading part of my course, I can help you increase your reading speed to 350 words a minute with 80 percent comprehension you really want to work on that one not just for the TOEFL but if you if you read faster you're going to remember more because you have fewer distractions faster readers have better comprehension than slower readers that's a fact but it will help you get through the mountains of graduate uh, reading that you're going to have to do you're going to have to read a lot of articles a lot of books just a lot of reading materials so the faster you can read the better it will be for you in terms of completing your assignments and it also helps you get through the TOEFL a lot faster so you have to be a pretty good reader a fast reader 
to do that. So don't underestimate the importance of, of the reading part of my course and specifically improving your reading speed. So that would be my recommendations. I know that you're taking the TOEFL on February 2nd, 2013, but I see you as, as needing to use my course for two months. So you can take the TOEFL on the 15th. Even if you do reach your goal on the 15th, I still think you should use my course for at least two months. Remember, I'm not just helping you pass the TOEFL Darwin. My goal is to help you be a better graduate student. I want you to speak more clearly. I want you to be able to organize your ideas when you're speaking and when you're writing. I want you to be able to read at the right at, to, to read the right materials at the right speed. I want to improve your vocabulary, your grammar. All of these things are very, very important for you. All right? And remember, I'm only an email away, so if you have any other questions about my course, uh, you can send me an email, and I will try to help you as quickly as I can. So basically, in this video, I gave you a two-month plan. So for the first month, again, I said it's probably good for you based on your current English proficiency to focus in the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections of my course. Then for the second month, you can focus in the reading, listening, writing, and speaking parts of my course. Those are the, the basic tips I gave you in this particular video. And good luck to you. So now you have about 30 days before you take your TOEFL. So work hard, be smart, and don't over-study. You can only study TOEFL so much. So I recommend if you're using my course, probably two to three days, seven days a week, is probably enough, I think, to help you right now. And, and beyond that, you want to make sure you're reading newspapers, you're reading uh, magazines, you're reading books. Make sure each day you're listening to authentic listening materials. You might be, for example, Darwin, uh, you might be watching news at night. You might be watching documentary type programs, even watching movies. So a combination of, of practicing with these listening and reading materials and then spending maybe two to three hours each day at my online TOEFL course, I think together that's going to be a very good combination to help you reach your goals. And don't forget, find opportunities each day to speak English with native speakers. This is also very, very good for you uh, right now. All right, and have a great day. Happy New Year. And again, thank you for becoming one of my students.